I'm Lara Caraturo from the Sydney Italian Wine and Food Festival, presented by Smeg. Hi, I'm Giovanni Pilo from Pilo Freshwater Restaurant. Alessandro Pavone from Emergio at the Speed. We have over 250 wines to taste on the day, um, mostly from Italy, but some are from Australia with Italian grape varieties as well. So we have all the all the big Italian chefs from around Sydney, including Giovanni and Alessandro. All the guys are doing cooking demonstrations. They're making food on the day. We're doing master classes, wine master classes, beer seminars. You know, I think uh, we thought about the lasagna. Lasagna is a very underrated dish all around the world, you know, Australia, America, England, outside of Italy, so let's say, the, the first. The, and we wanted to uh, give the people to, the opportunity to show us how they can do it. We just like to see how many people are there can do it very well as well, and uh, we put up this uh, competition, and uh, we will be judging for it, so I'm uh, looking forward to that. You've got to do uh, a very good Bolognese, and that's, uh, you need to uh, choose uh, a secondary cuts and uh, get them means very thick and, uh, and cook it very slowly until it's melting. That's one of the most important things because when you eat it, you don't want to have a, a chunky bit of meats which are chewy. It's nearly buttery, the, 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 la, the last result. And then there is different technique that varies. Some people put layers of uh, uh, Bolognese and layer of um, bechamel, some other people combine the two and do same layers every time. It's important for, in my point of view, that we use Parmigiano Reggiano and not mozzarella. Uh, Southern Italians start to add mozzarella, it's a great cheese and I love it, but I think uh, lasagna in particular doesn't need uh, mozzarella in it, it's only Parmigiano Reggiano, so that's a good tip also because mozzarella release water in the cooking process and you're gonna have a wet lasagna. Mm -hmm. And the pasta need to be not too thin because you have to have a, a still a little bit of texture in there as well. And, and that's it. If you follow, let's say, the, the right steps, you should have a great result. It's and you good. know, there is variations of lasagna, I think. But, you know, taking from Alessandro said that the traditional lasagna is the Bolognese one, but I think the all of Italy have a little spin, you know, the southern mm -hmm. put the mozzarella. My mother in law, she's from Abruzzi and she puts boiled egg grate it in between the layers wow. and some spinach and I love it she, she makes a great lasagna but yeah I know something not pineapple <laughs> <laughs> well that was just pizza well you never know you know not unless it's pizza have you seen it in lasagna well, I, I heard before really yeah. more in the, in the wow. states but really? they put it even there wow I think they are a combination of uh, tomato pineapple the American like it and can I say also that you never ever Fry lasagna. Yes. Don't fry lasagna because there has been there's something going around that some people are frying lasagna. That's crazy stuff. Be a no. butter and fry lasagna. It's <laughs> really bad. It's a Scottish that tradition or something. No.